शुक्ला ब्रह्म विचार सार परमाद्याम जगद्व्यानी वीणा पुस्तकधारिणी अवयदा जाढ़्यांधकारापह हस्ते स्फाटिक मलिका विदधती पद्मासने संस्थिता वंदेता परमेश्वरी भगवती बुद्धि प्रदा शारदा दत्वा सरस्वती देवी शुद्धा गुण्याकोम्यहम पाणिनीय प्रवेशाय लघु सिद्धांत कौमुदी In the Suvanta Prakriya, we were looking at derivation of Ajanta Pullinga Shabda, Rama. Paraha is down. So we derived Rama Shabda Prathama Ekvachana. The next sutra is introduced in continuation to derive Rama. What does he need to derive Rama? He needs the sutra Sarupanam. Just a second, sorry. Sarupanam Ekashesha Ekavibhakta. सरूपाणाम एक शेषे एक विभक्तो सरूपाणाम एक शेषह एक विभक्तो शष्टि भूवचन एक शेषा इस प्रथमा एक वचना एंड एक विभक्तो सप्तमी एक वचना इन एक विभक्ति सो दिस इस वन टू सिक्सटी फोर Let's look at 1 to 64 in Sutra Patha. We do not need, but let's follow whenever possible. Keep a reference of Atadhyayi with you. 1 to 64, in case we are missing something. We may not be missing something, but we may always, there is a possibility that we may find something more interesting or something applicable here. Sarupana Mekashashe, in which section at least you will be able to know, 1 to 64. So in the first chapter generally there is Sanya, uh, there is not much there and common rules which are there. Uh, 1 to 64 is this Virupana api Samanarthana. So there is a Vartika here, at least this we found that there is a Vartika, Virupana api Samarthana. Uh, anyway, we will not look at Vartika. And Sarupanam Ekashesha Ekavyaktu, this is called as Ekashesha Prakarana. And Ekashesha generally, uh, if you have studied uh, Samasa, you know that in Samasa, uh, when you put together words, say Mata and Pita, Mata Pitaru, uh, dual, it will be Itar Itar Dandva, Mata, Mata Cha Pita Cha, ma, Matru Pitaru. So uh, you will get Matru Pitaru. Uh, that Pitaro is Matru Pitaro, there you get, uh, since there are two people, Mata and Pita, you get the dual there, uh, Prathama Dvivachana. Now, uh, in Ekashesha, so here maybe that is the case of uh, Samanarthana Virupanam or uh, when you want to talk about parents, then uh, the first can be dropped. This Ekashesha, uh, see Sri Pumvach, all the, there may be other rules. I am just giving a section Ekashesha Prakaranam. In these, the examples for Ekashesha, we seen with Samasa, the Buddhi of Samasa, uh, you have Mata Pita put together, uh, you will get Itaretar Dvandva. Similarly, uh, another is, uh, uh, say, uh, 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 Shiva Parvati. So, the, the samasas that you are making, whenever you are making samasas, Rama, Lakshmana, uh, there, this itaritara dvandva, there you have the case, uh, the number change. The vachana changes based on the number of elements in the compound. However, in Ekashesha, what happens is that only one remains which carries the meaning of other. So, in Mata Pitaru or Matru Pitaru, whichever, I am not sure which is, there may be a particular rule where uh, it may not be ma Matru, it may be Mata. So I am not very sure, I can't recall. So whatever is the samasa that you get in Itaretar Dvandva, there Ekameva Shishyate. 
one will remain and what is that pita the word pita will remain but with uh, the dual case remaining so you'll get pitaro so you'll get pitaro and what is that that means parents which includes the mother so the mother in the samasa the word may be dropped and that is called as ekashesha by some rules where the remaining carries the meaning of the one which is dropped so what remains carries the meaning of the other similarly here ramascha ramascha when you say ramascha ramascha rama ramo you should get our thinking of samasa is what ramascha ramascha there are two ramas ramascha ramascha ramo how do you get ramo rama ramo is what our thinking is with itaretara tanda but ekashesha here says what sarupana sarupana ekashesha eka vibhaktu in one vibhakti eka vibhaktu what does the uh, vyakhya says we will directly go to the lagu vritti which says eka vibhaktu in a single vibhakti yani sarupani which are having this uh, sarupana is what samana rupana sarupana will expand as samana rupana eka vibhaktu yani samana rupani samana rupani rama and another rama ramascha ramascha rama first rama and second rama both have samana rupa Sam, samana rupani eka vibhaktu yani samarupa samana rupani ev drishtani which are seen rama and rama drishtani as in pratyakshatvena shrutani you hear you hear uh, rama and rama rama cha rama cha so ramascha ramascha you hear rama and rama the, what is the difference in first rama rupa and second rama rupa no difference so therefore they are samana rupa so samana rupani drishtani tesham eka eva shishyate whether here or in ramaha ramo ramaha there also rama rama ramaha should have happened by samasa thinking but eka eva shishyate because the first rama second rama and third or as many ramas which are there they are uh, they are having the same form samana rupa therefore eka eva tesham madhye eka eva shishyate one remains and that is what is eka shesha that is what this um uh, uh, sutra does so example is what our rama ramo so what will happen is that i'll just mention this example here rama ramo i'll not write it because it, it is still being derived so with this sutra now he has applied and rama 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 and rama that you have got rama rama plus o because rama is rama plus o how do you get rama plus o it is should have been rama plus rama but here only one remains rama and even in the plural also only one will remain and you will get rama and that rama you add au vibhakti here because we have derived rama prathama ekvachana this one rama when you are deriving so i'll just mark this in bold this is derived rama when you are deriving that time this sutra will keep only one rama even if there are two or more than two in the plural now what happens is that here प्रथमयो प्रथमयो पूर्व सवर्ण हा प्रथमयो पूर्व सवर्ण हा tells you what it says पूर्व सवर्ण इस आदेशा here earlier एक शेषा इस आदेशा एक शेषा इस आदेशा here पूर्व सवर्ण इस आदेशा for what for what in which case are you talking about पूर्ण सवर्ण आया जन आदेशा प्रथमयो हो for प्रथमयो हो शष्टि दिवचना uh, let me check safety for uh, prathamayo ho pura savarna says uh, we have to look at the anurutti here achi pare from eco so this is uh, the sutra is 61102 in the atsandhi prakarana you find this sutra as an apuada to something or to this there may be an apuada so we have to look at 61102 in 6th chapter where uh, 610 so prathamayoho purva savarna this sutra here you see earlier this akas savarna dirgha ato gune and all of these uh, starting from this uh, sutra ekoyanchi so we have done this sutra ekoyanchi echo evayavah vantoyi pratye 
what does it say? This echo energy, this achi goes till 125, 6177 to 61175. And our current sutra is 61102. So here you have achi as anurutti. <coughs> I'm sorry. Achi is anurutti. You have akaha as anurutti, goes till 107. Dirga as anurutti, 106. So you have pratamayo purva savarna akaha dirga achi. All this is here. But dirga as an adesha. Akaha, uh, Akaha is Panchami Ekvachana. After an ak or uh, Akaha, well, let's look at the Vritti. What does it say? We'll, we'll bring in the uh, Prathamayoho Shashti Dhyvachana and Puro Savarana in the Sutra, but we also have Achi from Ikoyanachi, Achi Saptami Ekvachana. When a vowel follows, Prathamayo, I'll come to that Prathamayo, Puro Savarana Adesha. Achi and Achi before that you will also get Akaha. Akaha Achi. Akaha. 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 Aksh, for, for an Ak. I think it, it will be uh, not Panchami. Shashti. So Akaha. Uh, yeah. Akaha Savarna Dirga. From there you get Akaha Savarna Dirga. So Akaha uh, Puro Parayoho. You also have Puro Parayoho. Ekaha Adesha, Puro Parayu Eka Adesha also comes from the Sutra Eka Puro Parayu. Something else was left off here, 102. What else goes till 102? This, this Sutra here. This entire Sutra walks down to our Sutra Eka Puro Parayu. So there are so many things coming down is in Anurti. Akaha Achi Purva Parayoho. Uh, Ekaha, Ekaha Adesha and Dirga is also there whether it is used or not we will see Dirgaha because Purva Savarna and Dirga both do not really make sense as in could make sense but Purva Dirga whether it will take Purva Savarna Adesha or Dirga Adesha so that will not make sense so you have to make sense by the Vritti in the Sampradaya so what does he say Akaha Prathama, Prathama Dvitiya Yohu so what is Prathamayoho? Prathamayoho is dual. So dual, why is Prathama in dual? So he said Prathama, uh, Rudhyartha of Prathama is what? Prathama Vibhakti. By taking that in the proximity of Prathama Vibhakti, he is making a dual to shorten the sutra to say in the Prathama and Dvitiya Vibhakti. Meaning first two. For the first two, Prathamayoho, for the first two what? He says, uh, akaha achi. So for an ak, for an ak in, uh, sorry, akaha, akaha would be panchami. Just let me let me make a vritti first. Akaha. So akaha prathama dvitiyo achi purva savarna dirgaha ekadesha sya. So this is clear that purva savarna adesha and dirga. Meaning what? Dirga of purva savarna. Purva savarna dirga. Whatever is purva. Let's say purva is ikara. Then you, uh, any of the ak, so of the ak, so akaha is panchami, akaha purva savarna dirgaha. So ak is what a yun real rik, all of these are included. There may be uh, apavadas which are following, but right now what akaha prathama dvitiya yoho, of this first and second case only. So prathama dvitiya yoho, of those first two second cases, all three, prathama ekvachana, dvivachana, Bhavachana and Dvitiya, Ekvachana, Bhavachana, Dvivachana all are in, included by Prathamayoho. Akaha after an Ak. After an Ak, the Achi Pare. So when Ach follows, then what will happen? Pur, why Ach? Because Su Au Jas Am Au Shas. Su Au Jas Am Au Shas in that uh, Su is not Achi Pare. Su, when you add Su Pratyaya, which one? Sum. The Prathama Ekvachana Pratyaya is not Ach. Ach as in Ajadi. It is not Ajadi. But rest of the uh, five are Ajadi. And uh, whether they remain Ajadi or not, we do not know at this stage. There may be some Adesha which may change. We don't know. At this stage we don't know. Let's assume that we don't know. So currently our understanding is that in the first set of six uh, Pratyas in two Vibhaktis, what do you have? You have one which is non-ach. So there this rule will not apply. 
other places it will apply. Therefore, akaha achi, achi pare, pratham yoho, purva pare yoho, eka, ekaha dirga adesha. Which dirga? Dirga of the purva savarana dirga of purva. Whatever is purva savarana, dirga of that. So, ikara will become ikara, ukara will be ukara. However, laghu is using this sutra and saying iti prapte. What does he say? Akaha prathama dvitiya yoho achi purva savarana dirga ekadesha syat iti prapte. Meaning what? He is not going to use it. When is he not going to use it? When he says Rama plus au. So, Rama plus au is the situation here. And in this situation, what is he saying? This actually will start here itself. Uh, after Ekashesha, what will you get? You will get this form. Rama plus au. Because Rama is Ekashesha now. And then you will get au. What will you do with this now? Rama plus au. Sorry. Rama. I will continue this. Rama plus au. Au is what? So this is Prathama Dvivachana. Now, if you apply this Prathama Yo Purva Savarana, what will happen? This is Ach. Au belongs to Ach. Rama Akara ending Akaranta. So, Ajanta Dangad or Akanta Dangad. Ak is here. Akara is Ak. Au is Achi. So, Akaha Au Achi Pare. Prathama Dvitiya Yo. This is Prathama Vibhakti. And following one also will be Au. Uh, this uh, Dvitiya Dvivachana is also Au. In Au as in out. It is out, but Au. Uh, it is Ajadi. There, in both cases, what will happen? Prathama Dvitiya Yo. Purva Savarana Dhirgaha Ekadesha Syat. Thereby you should get what? Puropara Yoho Ekadesha. Puro Parayo. Purva Savarana Dhirga Ekadesha for what? Purva Parayo for both. So therefore Akara and Aukara both should be replaced by Akara's Dhirga. What is Akara's Dhirga? Purva is Akara. Rama, it should have, you should get Rama. But what is the form? Rama. Therefore, Iti Prapte, if you end up applying this sutra, you will get Rama Rama. But that is not the form. Ramo, we have to get that. Therefore, he brings in an apwada to this sutra, which is 61104. So, you go to the sutra patha. Prathamayoho purva savarana dirga syad, but nad achi follows. So, nad, so not nad achi, nad ichi. Nad ichi follows there. Meaning what? Na, yeah, na, at, Ichi, Ichi pare, at Ichi pare, Purva Savarana Dirgaha Prathamayo ho, na bhavati. And at is what? Here you have a Adantad Angad, Adantad Angad, Ichi pare, Ichi. So, au is a e un real ruk. So, there Ichi pare, a e un real ruk, a ong. So, there if you look at it, a om, ai auch. So there, starting from ika e, au is included in ich. So ichi pare, ichi pare na bhavati. Therefore, he brings an apuada sutra and thereby you avoid the form rama and you get ramau. How do you get ramau is a little later, but uh, it is not rama anyway. So nadichi, nadichi says what na. Na is an avyaya, at ichi. So we'll come to this sutra. I'll just uh, Panchi, I'll just mention this sutra and we'll go back and finish the earlier sutra because that sutra is given a leg by by uh, Laghukara. So where will this sutra apply? I don't know. If I study this much, I don't know when will this apply. What is the example? Can you give me an example here? So we'll take a deviation here and see what will happen. When there are words like, say, uh, Hari. So, if Hari is there, what will happen? Hari plus O if you do. Hari plus O if you do Hari plus O. What will you get? Hari. Hari is what? Ikaranta. And uh, Ikara is what? Ak, part of Ak. And O is 
पार्ट ऑफ अच देर फोर अक प्रथमाद्वितीय पूर्व सवर्ण दीर्घ एकादेश पूर्व पर हो सो अक एंड अच इज बोथ कंडीशन आर मेट एंड वॉट वॉट इज ऑल्सो नॉट मेट वॉट इज नॉट मेट इज नाद अची नाद नाद इची सॉरी नाद इची से इज वॉट इची इची इज मेट दिस कंडीशन औ हियर इज इच औ हियर इज ऑल्सो इच ऑब्विस्ली बट वॉट अबाउट दिस अ बीइंग अक ई बीइंग अक इज ऑल्सो कॉमन हाउ एवर दिस अ इज अदंता एंड राम इज अदंता बट हरी इज नॉट अदंता हरी ऑल ऑल इट इज अक अगंता इट इज नॉट अदंता इट इज इदंता देर फोर बीइंग इकारांता नाद इची विल नॉट अपोज इट एंड देर बाय दिस हरी प्लस औ यू विल गेट पूर्व सवर्ण दीर्घ एंड दैट विल बी हरी दिस हाउ यू गेट हरी फॉर्म सो आई जस्ट टेकन वन एग्जाम्पल देर आर अदर्स गुरु एग्जाम्पल इज ऑल्सो देर एंड देर मे बी अदर एग्जाम्पल्स नॉट ओनली इन दिस विभक्ति uh in the second vibhakti also and it is or uh, true with um, the uh, uh with the uh, plural also so in plural also you will get that uh, dirgha in plural what you will get ramaha so that this this prathama prathamayo purusavarna will apply in uh, say ramaha there it may apply but in hari case it will Uh, hari case will apply but in ramau case it will not apply hari it will apply ramau it will not au and ikara both are replaced by by dirgha so i'll just mention here hari here what has happened har ikara otherwise will not know the example of for this sutra e so that is that is the ekadesha here both of these are replaced by one ikara so that's the example which uh, lagukara does not cover so now we have covered prathamaya purva savarna now see iti prapte iti prapte what happens nad ichi na as ichi ad ichi na purva savarna dirgha there is apavada na is there so purva savarna dirgha na bhavati here you have the anuvrtya of all all of those purva savarna savarna एक ऑल दैट विल इज देर एंड दीर्घ इज ऑल्सो देर सो पूर्व सवर्ण दीर्घ न होती देन वॉट विल हैपन यू हेव टेलिंग मी वॉट डज नॉट हैपन वॉट विल हैपन दैट वी ऑलरेडी स्टडीड सो वेन प्रथम यो पूर्व सवर्ण दीर्घ डज नॉट हैपन नाथ इची निगेट दैट देन वॉट विल हैपन आद इची पूर्व सवर्ण दीर्घ न होती then what will happen vriddhi rechi vriddhi rechi will apply here and thereby you will get rama plus au will become rama plus au will become what rama vriddhi vriddhi echi echi pare au au is part of h and echi pare वृद्धि भवती एंड वृद्धि रेची से इज व्हाट वृद्धि रेची वृद्धि रेची से इज दैट लेट मी रीड द वृत्ति काशिका वृत्ति अवर्णांत अवर्णात परह य एच एची च पूर्व य अवर्ण तयो पूर्व परयो अवर्ण अवर्णचयो स्थाने वृद्धि एकादेश भवती सो व्हाट इज दिस वृद्धि रेची अवर्णांतात एची परे पूर्व परयो एकादेश एंड व्हाट इज दैट एकादेश वृद्धि फ्रॉम दि सूत्र दिस इज अकादेश देर बाय यू विल गेट बाय वृद्धि रेची यू विल गेट रामो दैट इज व्हाट ही इज मार्क हियर एज रामो सो सो मेनी सूत्र टू वी हैव लैंडेड ओनली इन द फॉर्म रामो दि प्रथमा द्विवचन सो बोथ राम अ and au both are replaced by ram au and you will get not ram ram au and you will get ram au
So this is the Rupa Siddhi of Rama. Moving on, Rama, Rama plus Suo Jas. Jas, what will happen? How do you get Jas? These you got by Dveka Vachane. What Sutra we saw yesterday? Dveka, dveka Yor Dvivachane Ka Vachane. So by this, this Sutra helped us get uh, Rama plus Su, Rama plus uh, actually not only the first case but in all Vibhaktis you have got the singular and dual. Eka Vachana and Dvivachana by this Sutra. What about the others? What about the plural? All the seven plurals, how do you get seven plural plus one Sambodhana plural? By another Sutra. So he brings in another Sutra here to add the Bhavvachana Pratya. How do you add the Bhavvachana Pratya? By the Sutra Bhavushu Bhavvachanam. So this is the Vidhi Sutra which tells you Bhavushu, if there are many Ramas, then what do you do? You add Bhavvachana Pratya. So Bhavushu, Bhavushu Bhavvachanam Pratya Syat. This Pratya Bhavvachanam which is Sanya. What was given Bhavvachana Sanya? Through this Trini Trini, that Sutra, each of these are divided into triad. These are, uh, they get particular Sanyas and this is a Vidhi for, of that Sanya to be, whatever is denoted by that Sanya to be added here and that is the Bhuvachana Pratya. So, so just about Shas, that just Shas, Ityadi, all these uh, Bhuvachanas are added when you have many, many, many more than two. Thereby you have got what? Siddhi of Rama plus Jas. What is the content of Jas? Rama plus Jas. Uh, okay, sorry. Bhavachanam is added when there is a vivaksha of multiple bahutva, when there is a vivaksha, when you speak you have a vivaksha in your mind, there is an intention, vivaksha means there is an intention, what is the intention? I want to talk about many Ramas in this case. So many Ramas meaning more than two Ramas. If I want to talk about more than two Ramas in that vivaksha, bahuvachana pratyaya is added. Now what happens to this uh, just uh, which is the it letter here. So he introduces Sutra Chutu. 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 So Chutu is a dual. Chakara and Tavarga. So he says Pratyadyo. Pratyadyo Chutu Itaustaha. So you go to 137. Uh, we have seen this section, but I'll just uh, tell you how how these anurtis are little, little important here in the prakarna. So from one three two, one three one is bhuvadev dhatava. This is the sutra we uh, recalled yesterday for the definition of dhatu. But from one three two to one three eight is the definition of it. What happens to these which are marked as it in the sutras from 2 to 7? Tasya Lopaha. Tasya Lopaha Bhavati. So it, whatever is marked as it will undergo Lopa. We have already seen Upadeshi Janunasika it Halantyam earlier in Lahu. Now others as and when the case arises, he talks about those. So I will mark only those. We have seen Upadeshi Janunasika it, we have seen Halantyam, we have seen. Now he is talking about Chutu. And he'll soon talk about lashak kvat lashak lashakvatadite So chutu is what dual. Chutu is uh, chavarga and tavarga. So chavarga and tavarga will become what chutu. And chutu how will you decline? Like guru. Guru hu, guru guravaha. So guru hu, guru that dual. Thereby this chutu is prathama jivachana. And what is the anurutti in chutu? Upadeshe, it, these go till 8. So, Upadeshe, uh, it is there. What else is there? Adi is there. And Pratyase is there. 
देर बाय चुटू मीन्स नॉट ऑल च वर्ग एंड च वर्ग लेटर आर इथ वेर एवर दे आर इन 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 उपदेश नॉट ओनली शुड इट बी इन एन उपदेश उपदेश सो इथ उपदेश इथ दिस इज दी बेसिक अनुवृत्ती सो उपदेश चुटू इथ भवती वा न वा सर्वत्र न भवती वेर विल इट बी आदि आदि ओनली नॉट इन इफ इट इज इन मिडल और एल्सवेर आदि ही ओके लेट से इट इज आदि एल्सवेर इट इज नॉट इट इज एट द बिगिनिंग बट वॉट इफ इट इज एनी उपदेश नॉट एनी उपदेश इट शुड बी वॉट इट शुड बी प्रत्यय आदि इट शुड बी अ प्रत्यय नॉट एनिथिंग एल्स सो आई एम नॉट टू गेट काउंटर एक्साम्पल हियर सो ईच टाइम यू थिंक ऑफ एनिथिंग बींग एन इट लेटर लाइक फॉर एक्साम्पल हल अंत्यम हल इज एट दी एन एंड देन इट विल बी an it letter not everywhere there may be an upward so you have to look at an upward which is coming up later but chutu cha varga and ta varga letter <coughs> i'm sorry <coughs> is not it everywhere it should be obviously in an upadesha that is understood we know enough that it should be an upadesha but it should be a pratyay cha varga letter or pratyay ta varga letter then alone it will be an it letter if it is at the beginning of the upadesha so pratyado chutu itau stah tesham uh, whichever is this uh, cha varga or ta varga letter tesham kim bhavati it sanya bhavati once it is marked as it then tasya lopah so he is bringing it because now he needs jakara to be it jakara is part of cha varga cha cha j thereby ज इज इट अ प्रत्यय यस इज इट एन उपदेश डेफिनेटली एन उपदेश इज जकार एट दि बिगिनिंग यस सो देर फोर आदि सो प्रत्यय से आदि उपदेश दिस इज मेट एंड इट इज अ च वर्ग लेटर देर फोर पार्ट फ्रॉम चुटू इट विल बिकम इथ इट विल गेट इथ संज्ञा देर बाय वॉट विल हैपन तस्य लोप एंड आफ्टर दिस सूत्र वॉट आई कैन डू इज आई कैन मार्क आई कैन मार्क दिस एज इथ लेटर and tasya lopa we already studied therefore rama plus jas will become rama plus as by what this sutra chutu and tasya lopa thereby rama plus as is where we have arrived at what do you do now he needs another sanya there because one sutra will talk about vibhakti i don't know what is a vibhakti so he is saying what is vibhakti vibhakti ch this sutra is a sanya sutra vibhakti chha says what vibhakti hi vibhakti hi chha vibhakti is ek vachana defining sanya for what 14104 so in 14104 yeah, one, one, we have seen this yesterday we have marked this as well because it is coming up supaha supaha and ting ting also goes with tinga tinga ha trini tinga ha all this tinga is ting tingau tinga ha sup supau supaha so prathama bahuvachana both these tinga ha supaha goes till 104 here and this supaha also goes till 104 tinga ha supaha vibhaktischa uh, so they get vibhaktischa bhavati so tinga ha supascha vibhakti bhavati or chakara vibhakti cha sanya bhavati whatever sanya they have got there will be an additional vibhakti sanya also so vibhakti both ting and sup pratyas uh, are called as vibhakti also sup tingau vibhakti sanyo stah that's what he saying sup tingau vibhakti sanyasya thereby now us this jas or us being sup has got vibhakti sanya what about that vibhakti sanya so what what is this sanya Uh, the applicability that applicability sutra comes next in the it prakaran itself he, there is a usage of this sanya vibhakti which says what na vibhakto tusmaha na is some negation na avyaya vibhakto vibhakto saptam ek vachana in a in a vibhakti in a vibhakti what tusmaha tusma is plural i am not uh, solving samasa but uh, tu tu is ta varga i'll just separate the letters tusma is what 
Sakara and Makara, Maha. This is the plural. If it is a plural like Ramaha, Ramaha plural or what? Uh, Ramaha plural if it is, then you will get Ma. But Makara is, is what is mentioned here. Therefore, it is like Marut Shabda. Marut Marutau Marutaha. They will get Maruta, sorry. Marut Marutau Maruta Tusmaha. Here Akara is for Ucharanartha. So, we will say uh, Ma. Ma, but Akara is Ucharanartha we can take. Tu is Ta Varga. Ta Varga, Sakara and Makara. What about them? Vibhakto Na. Meaning what? Vibhakto Na. What Na? So you look at 134, 134 which we are just looking at the section here which is Itsanya Prakaranam 13. Yeah. So now Vivakta Utusma says has Anurutya of what? Uh, halantyam. So Halantyam. An, halantyam is what? Ante Bhava. That Hal at the end. Hal at the end is an it. But vibhakta tusmaha it na bhavati. Hal by hal, what would have happened? See, us, this suojas jakara went away as it letter and tasya lopa by what sutra? By chutu. Now, this us sakara is hal or not? It is hal. And is it a antya hal? Yes. No other condition needed. Upadeshe, upadeshe janunasika it. Halantyam it upadeshe halantyam it ante hal it bhavati sakara ante vartate. So it will become an it letter. Then you will get what? Rama plus a. But the sakara should not undergo lopa, therefore, and only in, in vibhakti it should not undergo lopa, whether it is in thing or in uh, sub derivation. Whether you add in tinganta pratiya or subanta pratiya, the sakara which is end, uh, at the end of a uh, pratya here in this case, vibhakta, because vibhakti is what thing and uh, super vibhakti. Of course, there is another uh, technical vibhakti uh, in Taddita. There is a short section where uh, there is another definition of uh, vibhakti is another sanya there. But right now it is not our interest. In the vibhakti, the varga letter which is at the end of a vibhakti, that Tavarga letter, since it will be a hull, Tavarga has only consonants, it will be a hull. Sakara is a hull, Makara is a hull. And Tavarga letter, Sakara or Makara, at the end of a Vibhakti, should not undergo it by Halantyam. Therefore, he says, Na Vibhakta Utusmaha, Halantyam. Sorry, it's too slow. For some reason, uh, this PC has become slow. Okay, halantyam what? Halantyam it, it upadeshe, all that is there. Upadeshe, all that is continuing. Upadeshe it na bhavati. Vibhakta utusmaha it na bhavati. Or na bhavanti, however you, halantyam is antya hal. So he says, Vibhakti, vibhakti sthaha uh, tavarga sakara makara. So, tavarga samaha na itaha. Vibhakti sthaha, those which are present in vibhakti. Which are those? Tavarga by two, sakara and makara. Therefore, tavarga, tavarga samaha. Tusmaha is what? Tavarga samaha na itaha. Itaha na bhavanti iti sasya na ittvam. Kasya sasya jas iti pratyasya sasya. This sakar, saka, sasya is sakarasya. Akara there is for ucharana. Uh, this ramaha plus as. In this ramaha plus as. Sakarasya iti sasya ittvam na bhavanti. Netvam is na ittvam. Thereby what, what have we achieved now? Rama plus as. Sakara will not go. Then what will happen? You will get. You will get Rama. Ramas. You will get Ramas. And then. What happens to Rama Sakara at the end of the Pada? What will happen? This is a Pada. Suptingantam Padam. We have not seen that. But what will happen? 
of to sakara at the end of the pada same question i asked yesterday what is the adesha for sakara at the end of the pada padanta sakarasya kaha adesha bhavati anyone केन सूत्रेण विसर्ग आदेश होती सर केन सूत्रेण विसर्ग आदेश होती देर इज नो विसर्ग आदेश पॉसिबल सकार से विसर्ग नास्ती पदांत सकार विसर्ग विथ वॉट सूत्र विल यू मेक रामा रू यू विल गेट रामा रू खरवसानोर विसर्जनीय यस बट फॉर वॉट रू बट रू शुड बी देर फॉर इट टू बिकम अ विसर्ग बट इट इज नॉट रू येट वील नीड रू एंड रू विल कम बाय ससजुशो रू सो फर्स्ट यूल गेट ससजुशो रू एंड कंटेंट ऑफ रू इज Refa, you will get Ramar, and Ramar will become what now? Now you can say Visarga Bhavati. Directly you cannot apply Visarga by bypassing Sutras. So Ramar and then Rama Ha, which is what? This is by Kharavasa Nayor Visarjani Ha. and uh, here you can say specific case so you can hear dirgha is by uh, we would say savarna dirgha but here you can say uh, by uh, prathamayo purva savarna dirgha so prathamayo purva savarna by that you will get rama rama and then ramas that sutra that's why he has brought up but he is not applied that sutra there it is prapte he had said in ramo so in ramo that is negated by nadichi but nadichi is not uh, applicable here because this as pratya is not an ich uh, ijadi pratya it is not therefore that will not be negated and uh, thereby you will get what dirgha by prathamayoho प्रथमयोहो पूर्व सवर्ण दीर्घ इज अनुवृत्ति फिर इज अक ऑल्सो एंड पूर्वपरयो एक दिस इज व्हाट आई रिमेम्बर विच वी जस्ट सॉ देर बाय रामास एंड देन रामार एंड देन राम सो दिस इज द रूप सिद्धि ऑफ राम prathama bahuvachana so in one hour we have derived two forms uh, in 45 minutes i'll uh, complete the uh, uh, the three su- uh, forms here sambodhana ekavachanam sambuddhi okay it's already 10 o'clock i don't want to go ahead but let me see uh, so you need three more sutras let's do it next time because uh, yasmat pratyavidhi tadadi pratyangam will take a little time i'll just finish this uh, sutra by saying ekavachanam sambuddhi says what ekavachanam sambuddhi sanyakam syat so sanyam syat sambodhane prathamayah ekavachanam sambuddhi sambuddhi sanyam syat what is sambuddhi sambodhana e- ekavachana so in sambodhana ekavachana you will get another uh, sanya which is needed because uh, there is enga hraswat sambuddhe that sutra uses sambuddhi and what is sambuddhi we don't know that sambuddhi is defined here in this sutra therefore he brings this and i will assume this has completed so that uh, we can uh, move further sambodhana you don't need uh, much example only sambodhane prathamayah ekavachanam sambuddhi sambuddhi sanyam sya this is just introducing a sambuddhi as a sanya for what not for everything all sambodhana but only in ekavachana divachana and bahuvachana therefore you see divachana and bahuvachana राम रामो रामा हे हे रामो हे रामा इज कॉमन इन संबोधना 
in uh, rama also it is common in hari also it's common in all derivations of any gender and any anta uh, vivachana and bahuvachana is common in prathama and in sambodhana only difference is in ekavachana so he rama he rama it is not like rama it is he rama vibhakti is not there because some rule applies and for that rule to apply uh, some differentiation has to be made and that differentiation is made by this san, this uh, sanya which is sambuddhi sanya thereby the prathama ekavachana is separated from sambodhana ekavachana by this sambuddhi sanya thereby only in sambuddhi some sutra will apply and thereby only in ekavachana you will get he rama as opposed to Ra, he ramaha or ramaha uh, he rama as opposed to ramaha and he hare as opposed to hari he and so on okay so we'll stop here we'll uh, look at this uh, other definitions and how that sambuddhi sanya applies when we look at sambodhana thereby uh, these forms will be siddha these two will have no problem because these we already derived but this will need the differentiation from ramaha to rama what sutra is not common or which it makes a difference that is this sambuddhi sanya oh. मृतावसाने नटराजराजो नन्नादकान्नवपंचवारम उद्धर्तु कामस्सनकादिसिद्धान एतद् विमर्शे शिवसूत्रजानम एनी क्वेश्चंस ओके नो क्वेश्चंस 